After the teaching day, I love to pour myself a cup of tea in my room and just relax when I get a chance. Here I'm sipping some herbal tea from my favorite tea shop, Elmwood Inn. Um, I decided to do a refresh, a cozying up of my bedroom for fall. And the first thing I wanted to do was take a fresh look at our mantelpiece and the pictures that we have hung above it. We are really lucky to have a fireplace in our bedroom and a mantle that I really love. And we kind of keep it as just our place. Like we actually don't even have pictures of the kids in here. We Not because we don't love our kids. Of course we love our kids to pieces. But I, years ago in a decorating advice book I, I read advice about the master bedroom and just keeping it a place just for the two of you and celebrating you as a couple and I really like that idea a lot it really charmed me and just kind of a place to go and draw inspiration for the rest of family life and also I like keeping um, framed photos of family but I don't like having them kind of out in public I like to have them in the more private areas of the house so we have a lot of pictures of the kids in sort of back hallways and more private areas of our house and then we have all these wedding pictures in our room which I love too. also you know just for the practical reason is we have some great wedding pictures taken by some really talented photographers and I love them and where where are you supposed to put those i mean i've got a ton of them so i hit on this idea of keeping them on display on this mantelpiece and the farther away we get from our wedding day the more fun it is to look at them and remember how fabulous we really looked when we were young too so that's another good reason to keep them there just have a lot of framed photos of our wedding day and um, some other special occasions and we just keep kind of adding to it and building to it over time and it's like our private retreat and I love it but I just kind of wanted to rearrange the way the pictures are I kind of want them to be closer together because every time I look at them I feel like I want to just kind of scooch them closer together and I think that's come from taking Rita Koenig's decorating class where she talks a lot about how to hang pictures and she has this really great approach to it where it's not terribly scientific but everything should just kind of be two or three inches apart and maybe six or eight inches up above the mantelpiece and all sort of looking very friendly and jumbly so I was trying to go more for that with these pictures all interested in Rita's course it's really amazing and I have a coupon code for 15% off for my viewers I will link that in the description below I also have a full video where I review the course and I will link that below as well and do check it out she's really a fabulous teacher and I started to play with arrangements and I didn't do anything like measure beforehand or lay everything out on a piece of craft paper or anything like you're supposed to. I just kind of went for it and I also took everything off the horizontal part of the mantle and decided that I was going to rearrange that to This is what I came up with after my first attempt. Everything was about seven inches up above the mantle with two or three, about two and a half inches in between. And then I put back some of the other mementos that we have like in little frames that won't hang on the wall. And I thought that I was happy with it and I thought that I was done. But then over the next few days, I kept looking at it and something about how horizontal it was just wasn't sitting right with me. And I really missed the triangular shape that the previous arrangement had had. I decided to redo it. And it wasn't that big of a deal because 
it's really easy to hang these to hammer these little light nails in and it it wasn't it didn't make it didn't do that much damage to the plaster underneath either so I really wasn't bothered about trying it again so this was pretty good um, I was pretty happy with it but it just didn't feel quite right so this is what it looked like at first just to recap and then I changed it to this where I like how they're closer together but it was just a little bit too horizontal and squat for my taste so then I got out my ladder and I decided to try to make more of a pyramid shape but keep the pictures closer together So this is what I ended up with in the end. This is my final iteration. I love how it has a more vertical triangular shape, but the pictures are closer together. And my little picture frame seemed to fit snugly and comfortably underneath the arrangement that's on the wall. And I even added a couple of pictures that I had tucked away that I hadn't been able to hang up yet. This is what it looked like in the first place. This is my second iteration. Here's the second iteration with things on the mantle, and it just felt a little crowded and a little low. And like the pictures on the mantle didn't really fit underneath what I already what it was hanging on the mantle. So when I redid it, I hung everything a little bit higher to make sure that things fit better. And so they ended up a little higher on the wall and a little bit more of a triangular vertical shape, which I I'm really happy with and then everything on the mantelpiece seems to fit more comfortably as well and even our jack-o-lanterns fit for Halloween so I'm happy with this arrangement and I am looking forward to adding more snapshots as our life together continues let me know what you think in the comments below would you think of just keeping your bedroom um, private with just pictures of you and your spouse um, or do you, do you like to, to prefer to have more family photos or do you have family photos in the public areas of your house or maybe do you just keep them in albums? I would love to know what you think also of the mantelpiece arrangement that I came up with and what you think of Rita Koenig's uh, jumbly, friendly picture hanging um, approach. So let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.